The Kremlin insists that Kherson was still part of Russia after Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited the southern city from which Moscow's troops retreated last week. The UN Human Rights Council announces it would hold an urgent session this month on Iran, where a brutal crackdown on mass protests has left hundreds dead. Britain and France on Monday signed an agreement worth 72.2 million euros or 74.5 million dollars to ramp up efforts to stop illegal migrants from making dangerous journeys across the English Channel. Thousands of demonstrators marched through Madrid to protest against the regional government's health care policy. They said that the policy was destroying primary health care. The hunt is on for the suspect in a shooting that left three people dead and two others wounded on a university campus in the U.S. state of Virginia. Afghanistan's supreme leader orders judges to fully enforce aspects of Islamic law that include public executions, stoning and floggings and the amputation of limbs of thieves. Beijing and several other major cities in China reported record COVID-19 infections in the last 24 hours. This has put authorities under more pressure. Officials have been easing curbs in the past few days in an attempt to reduce the toll on the country's economic activity. Slovenia has its first female head of state. Liberal rights advocate Natasa Pirk Musar won a runoff to become president. She said that she will seek to bridge the left-right divide in the country. Her victory boosts the country's liberal bloc. Cristiano Ronaldo says he feels betrayed by Manchester United for trying to force him out of the club. The forward also said he doesn't have any respect for manager Eric Ten Hag. United has since released a statement and said they will respond after the full facts have been established. Formula One giants Mercedes finally got their first win of the season as George Russell beat teammate Lewis Hamilton in Sao Paulo to clinch his maiden Grand Prix victory. The 24-year-old finished 1.5 seconds ahead of the seven-time world champion. We are now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.